Hey yo, uh, what's going on my fad shimp? It's your boy Austin here, better known as Global on the World Wide Web, and today I'm going to be reacting to the Indie World Showcase. Um, it goes live in about five minutes, um, but we're here, we're chilling, we're live, and uh, I, I don't really know what to expect. I don't really know what I hope to come from this, because I'm going to be honest with you. I'm not necessarily the biggest fan of indie games. However, over the last couple of years, there have been some indie games that have really sparked mass appeal like hollow knight or cuphead or undertale and i've recently played one on my channel called wonderling which was a lot of fun so so definitely you know i'm hoping maybe something good will come out of this maybe i'll see some stuff that you know maybe i'll pick up and play on my own time and just hang out and react to or and just hang out and play um but yeah so like i said it goes live in about five ish minute well four now um but yeah I, like i said i've never really been the biggest indie fan indie game fan however over the last couple months it's definitely grown on me um i don't know so maybe there'll be some cool things here going on about it. it's about from what i'm aware it's about yeah 20 minutes long tune in on tuesday march 17th which happens to be today at 10 a.m pt to check out the, about 20 minutes of information on indie games coming to nintendo switch now uh, i'm not expecting anything big to come from this like we're not obviously going to get a smash bros reveal we're not going to get a new legend of zelda trailer because those aren't indie games uh, that direct will probably come later um but for right now we're here doing this and yeah i don't really um uh, i don't really know what to expect um because they obviously with indie games like there's not really many games i guess maybe like i said some games that would be cool would be like another hollow knight or another cuphead or another you know i i don't know i don't know i really don't know what to expect um, yeah, so we, we just kind of wait. We're just kind of waiting here for something good, I suppose. Um, any type of, like, RPG-ish type game would be cool. I think I could get behind that. Um, any type of, I, I like platformers as well, uh, so that would be something cool. Maybe some, like, fun games to play with friends, uh, would be something that I'd be interested in. I don't know, we're chilling, we're chilling. Uh... Yeah, so I'm gonna cut. I'm gonna cut this bit until it starts because I got nothing else to say. <laughs> oh, here it is. Okay, let's get going. Like I said, I don't know what to expect. Hopefully, something good. Hopefully, something good comes out of this. New Jackbox. Is that what this is? A little bit loud. A little bit loud for my case. What is this? Or it's just just like the the intro to the stream. The intro to the stream, probably. Right? I would think so. Yep, the Indie World Showcase. Welcome. Welcome. Got some lava, got some magma. It's pretty. It's pretty, whatever it is. Little ninja, you're a ninja. Oh, that looks difficult. There's like parkour and stuff in this. Oh, that's too much parkour. That's too much parkour. I would die way too often. I would simply just die way too often. It looks good, though. A bunch of bad guys, a bunch of ghosts and ghoulies. So it appears like you're a little ninja, and it's very parkourish. Blue Fire from Roby Studios and Graffiti Games. Awesome. Hi, everyone, and welcome to welcome. Indie What's World. Welcome, what's up? A sneak peek at some exciting indie games coming to the Nintendo Switch system. Right, I'm John Pinyaki. And I'm Sam Robertson. What up, John and, and that Sam? that was the world premiere of Blue Fire from Graffiti Games and Argentina-based Roby Studios. All right. Embark on a journey through a long-forgotten land. Those monsters look cool. I like the monsters. And face 3D platforming challenges in a strange place called the Void. A dark world awaits when Blue Fire launches first fair. on That's Nintendo fair. Switch as a timed console exclusive this summer. A timed console exclusive? What does that mean? Does that mean it's almost, it's only for like a little bit? Baldo. Wait a second, I actually saw something about this. And I, this actually looked really good. I did see this this actually looked really good. I did see something about this. Sognato di fare qualcosa che unisse This actually this is actually one that I'm interested in. Un gioco che fosse un viaggio in un mondo like magico ricco di personaggi uh, fantastici di dungeon fantastic characters, complex dungeons. Dude, I like all those things. Un viaggio che I want to see some like gameplay though. Hopefully we get to see a little bit of gameplay. Quindi speriamo davvero 
che Baldi I they're gonna show us gameplay, right? e toccare il cuore come ha fatto con noi. Yep, here it is. I really dig this art style. It reminds me of some of my favorite classic anime films. Dude, it looks yeah, like totally. a it looks like a Studio Ghibli that, film. It's got a rich cast of it looks so like destinations and nice. It looks good. Exploring this action adventure RPG. So I'll more than likely pick this one up. And getting through all those dungeons is going to take some serious time, folks. Oh, that's so a man. Oh, lizard man. When Baldur You're not happy. First on Nintendo Switch as a timed console exclusive. I don't understand. What does exactly does timed console exclusive mean? But no, that Baldo game, I'm actually looking forward to that one. That one looks this good. This is Shelmiston. Ooh, a small colors. but remarkable Got some colors in there. In the North Atlantic with a long, strange history. Okay. Oh, these like, what are they, birds? Are they birds? Oh, um, I'm Morris Lupton. Hey, what up, I've Morris? I've all my life. I've been curating the stories of this okay. unique place for years. There's a bunch of birds. Ah, There's a bunch of birds. My museum. <laughs> but lately, well, it seems like I can do um, new things. Okay, I like what? What can you do? So it's a museum. And, well, it's not a big deal, but I should mention at this point, I am dead. Oh, re rest in peace. Rest in peace, champ. I am dead. That's literally what the game's called. Uh, this is a so an indie showcase direct, talking, which is kind of a Nintendo I'm direct, but it's for indie games. So you're not gonna see and Smash I'm Bros. You're not gonna see Legend of Zelda. Power, you're not gonna see Edition, like those, those big games. These are like Although, games like Hollow Knight, hear, uh, Undertale was an indie game, stuff like that. World. Yeah. But unraveling the tiny island's ancient mysteries is gonna be what saves it. So this game's called I Am Dead. Developer Hollow Ponds and Richard Hogg. These guys know their way around charming puzzles, and I can't wait to solve them. When I Am Dead launches first on Nintendo Switch as a timed exclusive later this year. I assume a timed exclusive just means they'll appear on Hi other everyone. consoles My name is Heather after Galvo, and I'm the director the of fact, production at but TikTok they, Games. They Hi there, TikTok I'm games. I'm one of the producers and the marketing lead. We're here today to dance? introduce mm, you to our mm, newest mm, title, mm. Bark. Bark is a 2D <laughs> side-scrolling top space shooter where you play as one of four ferocious animal astronauts trying to liberate the Earth from crazy robots. Okay, so you're, this is a you're an animal astronaut. That a cooperative spirit no, Siri, I don't want you. So it's we a family-based game. Title, as okay. Much as we enjoyed making it. In this whimsical side-scrolling shooter from California, my girlfriend and I could like play this game probably. Team up with your critter companions. I think that'd be kind of fun. Enemies, collect coins, upgrade ships, and take out the bad. She'd get so mad at me though. I feel, <laughs> I feel like she'd beat me up if we played this game. I'd mess something up. With easy couch co op, because <laughs> I'm really bad at games game like this where there's a lot of stuff going on at the screen. I'm a very simple kind of guy, and games like that with like Switch so much happening on the screen, I get like hey, real confused. I'm Chris Wilson, creator of I get real Happiness, confused. Joining us today is a hideous mutant freak. Hi, Chris. Thanks for having yep, that, I mean, he now is a hideous freak, mutant freak. Everybody's wondering what happened to your face. Glad you asked. I, like many of my loved ones, was minding my own business when right. the apocalypse happened, yep. destroying nearly everything and making <laughs> us all horribly mutated. Same though. Well now, Same though. that's a heck of a way to start the day. I'll tell you what, nothing wakes you up like discovering you can now breathe through your tear ducts. Yeah, that would not be Gosh, good. That's well, a bad, uh, that's a so bad day. That is a bad day. I'm sorry, buddy. I'm sorry, you bud. You can find me in the brand new adventure game, Freak Apocalypse. This looks We're like, uh, explore, solve puzzle, this looks like something, uh, what's left of our terrible world. What's, I forget what it's called, sure it um, but that definitely I'm reminds me, it's not, I don't dead. think it's South Park, That's but it's great. something else similar now, to don't that. Go anywhere. We'll be right back after the I don't know if it's a show or a no, game or something, won't. but it, but that, uh, that style looks like something Chris? I've seen before. Chris? While we're Chris. waiting for Chris, Freak you guys get ready for cyanide a and happiness. Full of weirdness. Okay. With cyanide and happiness, Freak Apocalypse launches first as a timed console exclusive on Nintendo Switch this summer. Fair. So a lot of it looks like a lot of summer games, a lot of things to play over this summer. Presentamos nuestro nuevo videojuego. Summer in Mara es una aventura tropical que cuenta la historia de Koa, una niña que deja su hogar para descubrir los secretos del océano. I like oceans. Oceans are cool. In Tibig, hacemos juegos de granjas en lugares insólitos. En Summoning Mara, tendrás tu propia isla que cuidar. Take care of your own island by farming and exploring the ocean with your boat. Con más de 30 islas que descubrir y una ventana de personajes a los que ayudar, tendrás mucho que hacer. 
Okay, Relájate, relax and enjoy. disfruta we'll see you y nos tomorrow. vemos semana. It might be tempting to just kick back and catch some rays Ooh. when you hit the beach in this summer tomorrow. Nice. This looks but nice. But the ocean calls you to fulfill your destiny. It's very... And mysteries await. Yeah, like, what's up with that gigantic rock thing right there? I the like rock? the color. See, I really like colorful games like farm, this. Colorful games like this are always, like, as a lot of... I don't know. Unfolds. I just like these. I'm not a huge fan of like the really realistic looking games. I like games like this. To its name, you're not gonna have to wait until summer to play this game. Because summer in Mara's first spring 2020. Nintendo Switch. Summer in Mara comes out in spring. Exclusive this spring. How about that? Which means players on Nintendo Switch will be the first to get these timed exclusive free in-game clothes and backpack. Oh, a little turtle shell. Hi, my name is Baltazar. You're a Baltazar. Nimble Giant. A game developed That's such a cool studio name. in Buenos Balthazar? Aires, Argentina. Dude. Quantum League is a first-person shooter with a unique time loop mechanic League? Is that, that what allows this game's you called? to team up with your future and past selves in one versus future one and past selves. And two versus How does that online battles. In this game, causality isn't fixed, and you can change the outcome of a round okay. each time it rewinds. It's oh. like your favorite time travel movie mixed with a highly competitive FPS. We sincerely hope you'll enjoy That seems like it would be kind of confusing, honestly. I'm this just online I'm FPS dumb, is but... a bit of a brain bender. But once you wrap your head around the nifty time paradox mechanic, so the possibilities while you're playing, the game like rewinds. So check this right? out. In each consecutive round of a match, you're joined by clones. These are echoes of your past self, and they mimic your previous movements through the arena. Plan your actions Wait, how does each that round work? strategically, and you and your clones can faint opponents into some very dangerous situations. I don't know how that works at all. Time warps onto Nintendo Switch in late 2020. That would be confusing for me. こんにちは。ファイターズのスウェリーです。日本の大阪で世界中の皆さんにとって元気を迎える。あ、ロマンキー。There's a yeah, the happiest town in the world is hiding a tremendous secret. Everyone turns into a dog or a cat. Why do you got a monkey then? Why do you got a monkey then? You know what? We all need a monkey here you're ready to use your feline skills <laughs> and canine prowess to pay off that debt. And so you're, you're playing as a cat. These are no small tasks. But luckily, each of your you forms has special skills that'll help along the oh, way. Oh, and a dog. And there's no way I can resist a game in which the main form of transportation is riding, riding a sheep. sheep. Enjoy the bizarre charm of the Rainy Woods life. when The Good Life launches on Nintendo Switch this year. Okay. Solid. Hi, I'm Sean Murray. And I'm Stephen Burgess. And we're here at Hello Games in the UK. We'd like to show you a little Let's of see what we got. we're working on called The Last Campfire. The last, I'm campfire. On the last campfire. It's a game about Ember who's become lost and is searching for a way home. The okay. game means a great deal to me and the team, and we were trying to make something I can get behind about that. passion, empathy, I can get behind and that. hope. We really hope you like it. Ooh. So is Ember one of these little slime guys? The music's good. Nice music. So you're looking for your way back home? Is that what it said? Oh, what is he? What is he? I need more of that thing. I need more of whatever that was. I like that frog guy. I like that frog thing, whatever that was. Favorite character already. Very puzzle, very puzzle oriented it seems. Ooh, and so okay, so you do you're looking for your way back. Okay. Oh, those are like your past like friends and something like that. That man is dead. That man is actually knocked out. That man is gone. Lighting up the campfire, solid. A satellite goes 
goodbye. The last campfire. Okay. Okay. Hello Games, known for the vast galactic exploration of No Man's Sky, delivers an altogether Wait, they made No Man's Sky with this new game. I did not Experience actually know that. Experience a truly moving tale about rekindling hope when the last campfire launches for Nintendo okay. Switch this summer. If you're a fan of games with immersive techno beats and sleek stylistic visuals, multimedia artist Bayon and Kyoto-based Q Games have got you covered. In pixel well, this junk called a kaleidoscope. Two, stages generate in real time based on Wait, did say pixel junk as you guide an inquisitive little creature called a grimp on a, a journey to save its fellow grimps Dude, that's and me. restore I'm the gardens. Each choice you make, from which grimp you so you're like shooting yourself you around trying to collect items, gives rise to a distinct sensory experience. Enjoy this wonderland. Yeah, see, this is this is the kind of game that like there's just a lot going on in the screen. And I'll get confused. Launches on Nintendo Switch this summer. Every good strategy game has its share of risks and rewards. Card games. So enter the world of Feria at your own risk. Because the reward is that Belgian developer Abercam's card game truly comes to life. And yes, really puts your strategic skills to the test as you craft not only your decks, but also the terrain that was of a the piranha, field There's itself. a piranha plant card. There are lots of ways it's called to the devouring cards plant, but it looked exactly Progress like a piranha plant. Progress through the sizable plant. solo campaign, for example, or play drafts mode or even PvP battles. PvP. Plus, there are online co-op missions and some puzzles on the side, too. The Nintendo Switch version of Feria comes with four free cosmetic packs available to download for free for a oh, limited yeah? time. Oh, yeah? When the game launches later this spring. Oh, yeah? And after that, they'll be available as in-game purchases. It's grim. It's the dark. The Eldest Souls. It's tough to master. See, this game looks good but already. hey, that's all part of the fun. This game already Indeed. looks good. Slaying gods is no simple task, but Ooh, hey, so you're the a god rights, slayer. Legendary. In this brutal boss rush battler, a tiny boss rush battler, paramount. And you guys are gonna want to pay attention to your loadout here too, because combat customization, I'm just really stupid. Talents and abilities, they're all key to your survival. But this game looks really good. Be among the first the to eldest take souls? up the challenge. When eldest souls, so you're pretty much you're like a, a fighter or a warrior, I guess, and you're you're trying to take summer. down these gods. All right, everybody. So we're almost out of time today, but before we go, trying to take out to these share gods. a quick peek at a few more indie games that are being worked on by some amazing developers. Yeah, let's check these the out. Let's check these out. Yeah, I think it still works. Blair Witch. There's a Blair Witch game. Oh, is it gonna be like Friday the Thirteenth almost? No, it doesn't. Look, I don't know. Blair Witch looks like it could be good. This one, you're a rat. You're literally a rat. Sky looks really pretty. I like Sky. You just get to fly around? I might have to check that one out a little bit more. That one, too much going on on the screen. Wouldn't be able to. <laughs> Wouldn't be able to play that one. Super liminal. What just happened? It's kind of trippy. A little trippy there. Oh, you're like in the change of size? It's like a bird, a bird watch game. Let's play birds. My grandma, my grandma would like that game. I'll let her know about that one. Dicey Dungeons. My grandma likes a bird watch. Bouncy battle. Moving out. Same, dude. Same. Dude, it's so hard. That game looks pretty difficult. But, like, fun, though. It's, like, a fun difficult. It looks like a, a mess. But, like, well, like it's supposed it to. And it still is, because we have one more thing to share. One last Fire thing to up. share. What is it gonna be? The past has been erased. Okay, passes and erased. Just shot the time, the thing. The hourglass. Oh, a new enter the gungeon. A new enter the gungeon. Right? My friend Horton, he would probably like this game. Cause I know he likes the person a lot. 
so I'm sure he would like this one. I'll have to let him know about it after this. Cause I know Enter the Gungeon was like a it was like a top a top down game. This one looks a bit more Exit the Gungeon. Uh -huh. Whether you dared to enter the Gungeon or not, be prepared to exit. This game okay. picks up right where the last one left off, and developer so it's a has somehow managed to make the arsenal packed extravaganza we know as the Gungeon even more intense. Packing it with hundreds of weapons and items, shifting rooms, and plenty of battle-hardened gun damage. All right. Exit the Gungeon launches on Nintendo Switch. Later Space today. Time console exclusive. Later, Later today. today. Later today. So they did have a day well, one drop. It was a pleasure. They did have a day one drop and for this direct. It's over. For real. For the showcase. Fun. But on behalf of Nintendo, we just want That's to cool. That's say cool. thank you to our indie world community and all the developers. A lot of fans of that game will like enjoy that. Games as all you fans that play them on Nintendo Switch. And thanks to all of you for tuning in. I think I think out of every single one of those games community, that were showed, I'm sure most excited for Balto. I think that one fits the games that I like the most. At Indie World um, there were a couple other ones. Uh, that time, God Slayer one, I, I don't remember the names, so yeah. my apologies. But the God Slayer one was cool. This Exit of the Gungeon was cool. That The flying one looked cool. The sky thing was called Sky. That one was pretty cool. Uh, what other ones that I, did I like that were pretty cool? Uh, the moving out one looked goofy and fun. That one shooting game that I was talking about playing with my girlfriend, that looks pretty fun too. Um, but yeah, so that was the Indie World Showcase. Uh, like I said, I think the game I'm most excited for is Balto. Um, so I'll probably get that when it comes out later. Um, but yeah, so thank you all for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy. Um, if you guys are new here, make sure you hit the follow button. Make sure you subscribe, join the Fried Shrimp, and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you all for watching. Peace.